But also in verse 5, notice the word evidence. This is the evidence of the righteous judgment of God. The word evidence is fascinating. It has to do with making known, with revealing. The same root of the word is used other times in the New Testament as the word for shame or warning. We might not think of those words being related, but think about how shame is the revealing of something that was true, but that perhaps was trying to be hidden. But now it has come to light. Think about warning. Something that somebody didn't know about, but that's extremely dangerous, so we need to make it known so that they can avoid it. This is evidence. This is the making known of the righteous judgment of God. When he gets into the Lord's return in verse 6, this is the exposing of God's righteousness. There will come a day when the whole world will see on display as if it's evidence in a courtroom. Once and for all, God is just and righteous. Connect those two thoughts now. We are worthy of the kingdom. He makes us worthy. We're not worthy on our own, as Brother Roger mentioned in our Lord's Supper thoughts. But on this day when he reveals his righteousness that all will see, he is saying, these are mine. That's a part of his righteous judgment that we made manifest on that day.